you're fine with you building a team the way you want to build it and stuff. If this all fails, you can pretty much all blame me. I always knew that the people I would take for the team would like, have a lot of potential and if we just could manage to work together and understand each other's gameplay, then we would eventually become a good team. At the start was pretty anticlimactic, around that we were gonna stomp the scene instantly. At that point we actually hadn't practiced much together. We had practiced together for like one or two weeks I think. We were losing, we were winning, we were losing. Like we were so inconsistent, like I had my dad. I don't think he took extra pressure on himself because he believed in all of us. And if you believe enough, there's no reason to be pressured. It took time for us to build up synergy and realize how we have to play with each other. We tried to find our ground and it took a while, but eventually it happened and we showed up for the summer season. They're just taking everything from SK. 12 to 0 in kills. Not a single wow. reply from SK Gaming. And it's a 20 minute surrender, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time to reveal the European Summer Split All Pro Team. And for the mid lane, Froggen had the highest KDA, the fewest deaths, and the most assists for a mid as he kept his super team in first place all split long. I was the expert in two. He's just crazy good in mid lane. I think he is by far the best laner in Europe. When I spend that much time on actually playing the game and trying to be really good, then I, I really like to be recognized for actually doing well as well. I think the thing is that Froggen enjoys the game to an extreme level, where most other pros, they love the game, but they don't enjoy it so much that they can keep playing it for 14 hours, day in and day out, for years. The reason Froggen is so good and has stayed so good for so long is he just loves to play the game. I see him in 90% of my games. Uh, he's either against me or with me. Froggen is one of these players who have been around for actually a while and is one of the players who actually kept playing all the time. Meanwhile, others who have been around for the same amount of time kind of dropped out. It's actually cool to see that he actually keeps playing, keeps developing as a player because he's already so good that he can even get better. This year it's really important to finish first because we can avoid uh, the first seeds from the other regions which is obviously something we want to do because it will help us in the group stages to actually get further. It was disappointing that we didn't get to go to Worlds last year but I don't feel like we deserved it. This year I think we deserve it because we've been playing well the whole split so hopefully we'll make it. Worst last year was like, kind of disappointing because I didn't get to play. This year we will turn it all around and we will be the ones playing on the big stage.